Alabama. Alabama. They wish that Tyler Van Dyke had said yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> That is a situation where I feel like we there's going to be transfer. You know, we're going to see QBs entering the portal. I think, as we've kind of discussed already, I think Alabama's going to be very interested in a couple of names that hit the portal at some point here. Look, so didn't look this terrible. is one of those ones where I'm kind of torn on because I do think like the Alabama's defense is legit. Like yes. that might be the yes. takeaway. Yes. And like, mm-hmm. well, yes. I remember speaking of ones versus two. So when we used to go ones versus ones at Florida State, like all of a sudden we're going against Derek Brooks and Derek Alexander and Clifton Abraham on the outside. And there's first round talent all over the field. And guess what? We didn't produce as good as we did against Duke or Wake Forest, right? But it actually really helped us because when you did play against teams in the regular season, like it was a little bit of a sigh of relief. So, I, again, some of these, and maybe they didn't structure it, but because I do think they would have liked to have their quarterbacks play better. I'm sure Nick Saban is not happy, and I guarantee you, like you guys are talking about, they are exploring other options. But it's also one of those ones where I remember Bryce and you know Bryce Young. I remember reading about him in spring practices early, and it was oh, you know, he looks a little lost. Well, yeah, against the, those defenders, everyone's going to look a little lost. So I'm, I get it. And I'm, you know, there's concern. You throw three picks between the two of them. I think probably the bigger concern is there wasn't a separation. Like there's still this uncertainty. We were both I, yuck. Uh, it was yeah. 19 for 37 for Milrow with a couple of picks. He did have a couple of touchdowns and another rushing touchdown, but that's barely over 50% passing. And then Simpson was 12 for 26 with no touchdowns and another turnover. That ain't good enough. I mean, like, and I, I think that, so if you've got Isaiah Bond, if you've got Ja'Cory Brooks, and if you've got Jermaine Burton, it's kind of a good top line of wide receivers, right? I and mean, that's... Juco kid Malik. Like uh, if I we think it's probably start, legit. If we start to compare those wide receiver rooms across the SEC, I, I haven't broken this down and ranked them myself, but they are not, at least at the top line, they, are, they don't have shortcomings at the wide receiver position if they can get it right on at quarterback. They're not like George LSU level. I think those are are your clear top two receiver rooms to me in the SEC. Um, But like to Danny's point about them going against first team defense, it's true. But also, there are some important guys who did not play for that first team defense, right? Lawson, their stud linebacker, didn't play. Chris Braswell and Turner, their two starting edge rushers, didn't play. And I, I thought Saban's comments afterward were instructive. I mean, he he was asked about would you bring in another quarterback or somebody to help the room through the portal and he would not shoot it down mm-hmm. right. and he, he said we need a quarterback who will make winning decisions and our guys need to think about if the decisions they're making are winning decisions and i think that is because there were other throws in that game by both guys i thought more by Milrow that could have been picked or that just weren't on time weren't necessarily advisable and i don't think these guys are going to get him killed right like like this, this doesn't mean bama's going to go seven and five or or, or miss a bowl yeah. game or something like that but you didn't see anybody in this game who's elevating everybody else around you. And, and and you didn't see anybody who said, oh, that's not a major step down from Bryce Young. I do think the O-line is going to be better, though, right? Elijah Pritchett did not look great, but Caden Proctor is 6'6", 340, and looks like he belongs. It wouldn't shock me if he takes that that one of those tackle spots. Maybe they shift Latham to the left and Caden plays right or something like that. That is a really big, nasty group. Like, interior, they didn't look like they missed the Miami transfer JV and Cohen at all. Right, Dalcourt and Tyler Booker, I thought looked really good. I think Dupree will be a nice help with them uh, at at tight end. I think they're gonna be able to block people. I think they'll probably run the ball a lot. Like thirty seven passes and twenty six passes is not what you're gonna see at Alabama this year. I think they will pound the rock more. Uh, but I, if you're Nick, you got to figure out these guys can play because you don't have that long to coach anymore. Like he's not gonna coach another ten years, probably. Although mm-hmm. I guess you know some coaches do hang on that long, but. You're trying to win another natty, man. Do either of these guys look like you win a natty? I guess if Stetson can, these guys in theory could, but like you gotta be look up, I, else, here's though. where I've been yeah, down on the really whole well. dynasty and where it could be coming. Like, what if they didn't have Bryce Young last couple of years was just a guy or right. a pretty good quarterback? Like he and I know, you know, like but there were the Texas game, you know, like he bailed him out of that one. The Texas AM game, he bailed him out. Like the Tennessee game was competitive. 
because he came back. Like uh, there are some games that might have not turned out. Like there's a very real possibility they were eight and four without Bryce Young. If uh, you know? as somebody who covered this back when I was doing beat writer stuff, uh, if Jimbo didn't have Dalvin, right? How much right. sooner do we realize that thing was rotting from the inside? And and you know we're we're not seem crazy to suggest so much earlier, right? I mean, who has gone know. on to prove to be like a a one of the like best at his position in his generation type? Yeah, play? exactly right. Um, so. I don't know, man. Like maybe maybe one of these guys takes a major step. I kind of thought Simpson made better decisions, so I I was previously thinking like maybe the Simpson hype is premature. Why are we doubting Milrow this much? We only have one game sample of him, but I kind of think if I had to guess, Simpson. I thought Lonergan looked much better than Holstein when when, when the uh, the young guys were in, which is consistent with what I saw with them as recruits. I, I was not on board with Holstein. Um, I will say to, oh, to just to add some context to it, like. We should, you know, it's first spring practice with a new OC, new bunch of guys all competing for a starting job, replacing a guy who might be the first pick in the draft. So, like, we should, probably shouldn't expect it to be firing on all cylinders. But also, going back to what you were talking about, but with Saban's comments after the game, I thought was interesting kind of reading between the lines. Like, he made comments about how the decisions and trying to get to see if these guys can recognize the defense before the snap. Like, are they in cover two? Are they in cover three? That kind of stuff. So I'm wondering if a lot of what the plan was in this game was we are going to run, we're not going to do basic vanilla defense. We are going to try to confuse the hell out of these guys to see which one of them can figure it out the best. And maybe that's that probably played a role in their performance because they might not have had any idea what they were throwing into. Um, also just some, some comments from the chat. I see a lot of people mentioning this, uh, that, and I, I do not have my postgraduate degree in Alabama's a day, but, um, it, it appears some fans are indicating that Tua looked bad in the spring game, uh, that Bryce young even looked bad in a spring game, that Mac Jones looks awful in the spring game. And that, yes, but we should also provide that as, as part of the analysis or part of the discussion. I will say my final thought is that if Nick Saban sounds like he is open to bringing in someone else, then they don't have their answer. Yeah, agreed. Uh, but that somebody else has to actually hit the portal and and do it. Right. Like Van Dyke, the way he played last year and the way he looked and he was clearly hurt, would not start over these guys. The Van Dyke of two years ago, I think, would have a, a real shot to start over these dudes. Uh, one other guy to mention for Bama, Caleb Downs. He's that dude. It is very rare that we rate a safety in the top 10 nationally. We had him as number eight in the country. He's an early enrollee freshman Usually your best safeties are dudes who like were corners in high school and then you know put on some more muscle and moved over. This guy looks special. Like he may be a, a true freshman starter for the tide. That, that's he was one of the best high school players in the entire country last year. Yeah. Um very, very exciting to see it pay out already.